Well, hello and welcome to Understand Men Now. I'm your host, Jonathan Asley of JonathanAsley.com, and I'm so excited to be shooting this short video for you today. Our topic, how to take your relationship with him to the next level, the next level, the next level. Let's get to the next level. All right, really quickly, if you're new to my YouTube channel, please click the subscribe button and hit the bell so you can be notified of new content. I shoot about four videos a week. Or our topic, how to take it to the next level. <laughs> All right. Um, you know, it occurs to me that, ladies, you literally have been so conditioned that a man is in charge of your relationship destiny. And if you think about it, the whole idea of marriage proposal is the man does the asking. The man does the asking. Now, whether you believe that should be the case or not, that's not what I'm here to discuss. But literally, ultimately, 99.9% .9 of women basically give their power to a man on when your, where your relationship is going. So I want you to take back your power, okay? And really, this is about learning how to set better standards for yourself and better boundaries for yourself, because that's what I'm really talking about. Because it seems to me, it always seems like this. The woman gets to the destination of she wants to get married and the guy is here. Or he might actually be here, okay? <laughs> All right, you're here, he's here. Well, wouldn't it be great if you're on the same page with one another? How do you get on the same page with one another? This is what I want to lean into today because this is about how to take the relationship to the next level. But before I do that, I want to introduce you to someone that I think can definitely change your life. And if you're not familiar with the work of Alison Armstrong, she has a book called Queen's Code. Queen's Code. Alison is a, is a friend of mine. We've interacted on a number of occasions. In fact, I was blessed. Uh, she was doing a workshop with a couple hundred women. I happened to be there and she said, she's not a dating coach, okay? She's more about helping you understand men just like I do. But she literally sat in the room of 200 women. If you need a dating coach, hire Jonathan Asley. And I was flattered beyond belief that she would say that. So um, she's very well renowned. Check out her work. Alison Armstrong, the Queen's Code. Why I'm bringing this up is because a queen, a goddess, the feminine divine in you, whatever you want to call it, I'm just going to say the empowered you. The empowered you. Okay, the empowered you. Knows clearly what they want in the form of relationship. Now, let me demonstrate this as an example, because when I'm going to use how I demonstrate what I want in a relationship, and let me see if this resonates with you or not. But in the early stage of dating, I'm very crystal clear. I say right up front, I'm looking to get remarried. OK, if a woman has a problem with that, then I'm not going to invest time in, in developing, uh, investing time in developing a relationship if we don't have that same goal. So I'm very crystal clear. I want to get married again. OK, now I didn't always feel this way. In fact, after my divorce, I was anti-marriage. I was anti-marriage. And most people after a divorce go through a period of anti-marriage. And in fact, a lot of people that go through divorce and think about this, 75 percent of people over 45 years old who are actively out in the dating world are divorced. So this is a reality that we're dealing with. And so if and a lot of those divorced people are anti marriage because they've got hurt, they got burned, especially men, oftentimes, not always because women have the same issue as well, are complaining about the financial um, challenges with marriage. Now, I'm not here to say you have to get remarried or have to get married. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just sharing with you how I establish my standard when I'm communicating with a woman. And my invitation is you set the standard for yourself. What is it? Is it moving in together? Is it getting married? Is it just having something casual? Know what that relationship is, okay? Because then you can lead from a place of clarity. Now, I'm gonna talk about Allison's book in a second. But I'm here to say is I've coached so many women and I've, I've had this uh, something similar to what I'm about to share with you today, but I've gotten calls where a woman says, Jonathan, I'm in a relationship with a guy. It's six months. It's a year old. It's two years old. It's three years old. And I want more commitment. I'm like, great. What does that look like for you? Well, Jonathan, I just want more commitment from him. I'm like, great. What does that look like for you? But Jonathan, I just want more commitment from him. Great. What does that look like for you? 
and they can't describe it. And I'm here to say, if you can't describe it to me, your coach, then how the heck can the guy you're dating ever know what you want? So I'm here to establish that you, my recommendation is get clear on what you want. Is it marriage? Is it partnership? Is it casual? Know what that is and then know what it looks like. So for example, when I'm dating, I'm very crystal clear. In the early stage of dating, I would like to spend three or four days and nights a week together doing shared activities, hobbies, mutual interests, spending time with family and friends, traveling, building teamwork to one another, and then eventually leading to partnership. Wow, I said that really fast. Okay. <laughs> Spending three or four days and nights a week together, doing shared activities, hobbies, mutual interests, spending time with family and friends, teamwork together, traveling, I forgot to mention travel, and then partnership, okay? I'm crystal clear. Now, most men aren't, I get it. But my invitation for you is to get crystal clear on what dating looks like for you, what a relationship looks like for you, and what a partnership looks like for you. Because that's what a queen does. A queen knows. A queen knows herself. In fact, a queen loves herself. And if you're not familiar with my book, What the Heck is Self-Love Anyway? You got to get this book along with Allison's book. Because that's how a queen operates. That's how a goddess operates. That's how the divine feminine, I mean, I like to throw out that rhetoric, but I'm eventually what I'm trying to say is the empowered you operates from a place of you know what you already want and then you establish your standard by expressing how you operate. So when I say I spend three or four days and nights a week together doing shared activities, hobbies, mutual interests, spending time with family and friends, travel, teamwork, and partnership, how do you operate? How do you operate? <laughs> In other words, ask them what, how they operate because that's how you take the relationship to the next level by expressing your needs, wants, and desires and see if they meet you at that level. And if they don't, then take the relationship to another level called bye-bye. Because if you don't, if this person doesn't want to invest in what you want to invest, then you're not aligned with one another. And alignment, not polarity, polarity doesn't work. Alignment works. For all of you that bought into the masculine, feminine polarity, ah, it's alignment that works, not polarity. Think about polarity, pushing apart. It's not pulling together, it's pushing apart. That's what polarity does. When it's misaligned, when it's aligned, it comes together. And that's my invitation for you. And establish what it looks like for you so you can be set for a healthy, happy relationship going forward. And that's what I'd like to hear you do. In fact, please tell me about your past relationship experiences here. And if you have a question, post a question. I read all the questions. I do my best to respond to some of them, but I read all the questions. You know it because I'll hit a like button or a thumbs up button. And, and listen, I know it's challenging. This is kind of frustrating. But I, if you're ready to go to the next level for yourself by loving on yourself, you're ready to take the relationship to the next level and learn to get to the next level by being clear here on what you want from here and from here. Ah, wow, I said a mouthful. All right. As I said before, please post a comment or a question if you have. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, please hit the subscribe button. Okay, and I'm going to wrap up this video as I always do, giving myself a big, gigantic Jonathan Bear hug of self-love. I'm going to reach into the camera and give you a big hug of love. And I'm going to ask you to turn to a friend and give them a hug of love, hug of love, because hugs are a great source of love and we can all use more love in our lives. Thanks so much and wishing you a fabulous day. Bye-bye now.